Hey guys, it's Lee. Hey, on this video, uh, this is a Cub Cadet 3000 series. It's one I've been wanting for a long time. It's got power steering. So that's what I've been after is something with power steering. I thought that'd be not cool. But anyway, so there's a guy at church and I, I drive by his house all the time. It's on a route where I go to work and it's been sitting there. And I'll tell you what, I mean, probably four or five years, really. Um, but anyway, it's just, and I meant to ask him about it and meant to ask him about it. But anyway, one day he said something to me about it. It's like, hey, do you basically want that thing? And I, because he was doing some cleanup, so I got it. So I figured it'd be just worthless. I mean, I figured it'd be all seized up. I figured it would just be, you know, not a whole lot to it. And I figured, well, I'll just use it for parts. But anyway, I got it. The motor oil was real low, but there was a leak at the oil filter, so that's probably why. So I got that tightened up. Uh, the hydraulics, it's a hydraulic um, power steering and the deck and all that's got hydraulics. Well, none of those worked, but I checked it and it was dry. So I put motor oil in it. Now I know you shouldn't put motor oil in it, but that's what I had on hand. That other stuff that you're really supposed to put in there, the the hydraulic fluid, I guess. I mean, I got the number in there, the part number. But anyway, it's pretty expensive. So before I went and did all that, I just at least want to get something in it to see if it worked. Well, so this up, coming up video, you're going to see me picking it up, how I do it with, the, hey, I got a winch on my trailer, so you need to check that out. But anyway, at the end of the day, I ended up driving it around the yard. I didn't clean the carburetor, which it needs it, um, or a new fuel filter and all that. Uh, of course, the battery's dead, but I, I boosted it off. <laughs> I mean, I, end, I put fresh gas in it, and I'm trying to burn the old gas out. That, I'm telling you guys, that gas has got to be five years old, so I, I don't really know why it's running. But anyway, I'm just running it um, and trying to put new gas in it. And I did, you know, I did the oil, and I put <laughs> motor oil in the transmission, so I'm not going to keep that long. I'm gonna be gone for a couple of days, so I'm gonna set it over here and just see um, if it leaks out. But anyway, uh, it's just a quick, you know, I'll, as I do things, I'll update you, but I figured I'd show you what hey I found. guys, it's Lee. I'm on site at a friend's house. He said he's had this mower sitting out here forever and just wanted it gone, so that's what I'm doing. But I thought I'd show you my method of moving a mower that don't run, that's very heavy. So let me show you this. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This is the mower. Hey, this is the good one. It's got power steering, but I've been sitting out for years and it's in pretty bad shape. That's where it came from. This is what it looks like. Not in the greatest shape ever. I mean, it's a great mower. It's just, you know. But anyway, this is what I was wanting to show, show you is the winch cable. And a winch right here. And I'm doing that. Otherwise, it wouldn't be right moving. Here it is. It's not real hard to crank. Still going uphill a little bit. There you go. I'm holding the camera and doing it all at the same time. And my cable is getting on that side. But I'll straighten it out after I finish
2000 series. All I'm going to say is I got it for real inexpensive. It had been sitting out for uh, several years outside. You saw where I picked it up at. That's where it's at. Well, dude, it runs. I put, well, I put motor oil in the transmission because it didn't have enough. But it drives around. You saw me. It's got power steering. That's what I like about it. Sons of my ass. Um, but I'm just giving you an update on what it's doing. I mean, if it keeps on running good like that, um, if it doesn't leak out a bunch of motor oil out of the transmission, then I'm going to put the real stuff in it. You know, the uh, hydraulic fluids and stuff. I can't figure out how to turn that on. I think it's missing the PTO switch or I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So, but anyway, I'm going to try to figure it out. Thought I'd update you. But it sounds pretty good. It was low, real low on motor oil. But it had a leak at the oil filter, and I got that tightened up, and it's not doing it now. So I don't know. I'd be curious to see how this machine turns out. 